Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. We are in the midst of this month's TCM guest programmer. He's the winner of our TCM Backlot Contest. The Backlot is our fan site where members submitted videos introducing a classic film, hoping they'd get the chance, the honor, really, to sit across from me to introduce a few of their favorite films. Our winner is an avid movie fan. He even runs a movie theater out of his home, Umberto Martinez. Welcome back, Umberto. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for being here. Up next, Umberto was chosen another movie from Colombia, again directed by George Sidney. It's from 1956, The Eddie Duchin Story. You show these movies out of your home because you love movies, but you care about the format, you care about how this looks. That is all very important to you. When did that begin? Incredibly. Well, I, I did mention before that I was a part-time projectionist, um, and I used to show movies in the hotels in Miami Beach for the guests. So I would set up the movie projector, 16-millimeter Kaylard Victor, uh, Kellar Victor speaker, projecto stand, made in Hialeah, Florida, by the way. Is that right? Yes. And I uh, would project the movies for the guests uh, in a designated room, uh, anywhere from uh, musicals to dramas, anything. And uh, it was very difficult because uh, uh, we were not set up to project CinemaScope. So every time I had to project Bye Bye Birdie in the 4x3 pen and scan format, I would go crazy because I knew there was more to be seen. There was information missing. And it wasn't until it was released on DVD and subsequently on Blu-ray that I saw it for the first time in full Panavision. So now when you, you run the movies out of your home, uh, do you will show Blu-ray? I will show Blu-ray and I will show it in the correct aspect ratio. No letterboxing, full 235 screen for the Panavision. Every Friday night. People. Every Friday night. How many people? Uh, we have 24 seats in the theater. It's, this is a hobby, mind you, because I had a call from somebody about, about how much money I was making on this weekend showing, and I said, I'm sorry, don't you see my website? It says, this is a hobby. We don't charge money. We don't even charge for the food. Why'd you pick the Eddie Duchin story? Another great Technicolor Panavision film, uh, 56, I believe. And why? Well, uh, the music is fantastic. This is another one of the films that I used to project in the hotels on the beach. And that's how I got to know about it. And that was a letterbox, 16 millimeter print, um, not an amorphic. And um, I love the music. Uh, I love the stars. Uh, I love learning later on that uh, Tyrone Power was a personal friend of Eddie Duchin. And uh, of course, there's Kim Novak again, um, whom I love. And uh, it was just a terrific story. It's definitely a three-hanky movie. Yeah, it is. It's, okay. a, it's melodramatic. It's it more is. melodrama than musical. Yes. Uh, but you see, uh, Duchin was a, you know, one of the great uh, uh, piano players of the, of the 30s and 40s. And, uh, and Power did not play the piano. Uh, but he learned 20 Eddie Duchin songs, much as Ryan Gosling did in La La Land. They both took it seriously. It's not like they became great concert pianists, but they learned the finger movements so they didn't need any trick photography you could watch and you'll see in the movie Tyrone Power is playing. Uh, now they had a, you know, a professional piano player do the soundtrack, but that it, but the work that Power put in was uh, serious. It was um, masterfully done. Carmen Cavallero did the recordings. Uh, I own the vinyl and then the CD release of this soundtrack, which is phenomenal. And the location photography in New York City is really Beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, Umberto, thanks. Let's take a look at it. From 1956, Tyrone Power plays the title character, also with Kim Novak and James Whitmore, The Eddie Duchin Story. <laughs> 